<laughs> Are you going to ask a question about it? Or where were we? What was the, you wanted to talk about passion. Can you, can you share what your ideas are about passion as it relates to the field? When we talk about professionalism and leadership and the word that comes to mind to me that when I look around this room is the passion that people have for doing this work. And it is work, but to have that passion that comes through with the joy and the intelligence and the ability to really be an advocate for children, to be an advocate for your staff, to be an advocate for a parent, or even for yourself and, to, and for the field, that you just you can't lose that passion and that joy. Well, when I was thinking about cult how to cultivate a leader and um, new leaders, I think the one thing that we need to be able to do is to have power with people. When um, it's that social justice piece that um, so many people that we work with have come up from um, the ranks of being just a teacher and how can we help them feel you are a professional, you are a leader here. And I think the best way to do that is to not take over their power, not to have power for them, and certainly not power over them or on them, but to really have power with them and to say, I'm gonna walk with you, but I know you can stand here and do this because you have that passion too. Yeah, yeah, nice home run. Oh, yeah, I was thinking that, that sort of slipped out there, didn't it? Well, injection. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's a commercial for PO. But it is that. Yeah. It's about empowering people. Yeah. Yeah. I'll sit here next to you. Hold your My friend. Actually, actually. Can I just say what I was? I think good leaders are made of people that walk hand in hand with their colleagues, with their staff, with their parents. As a director, as a as a administrator, whatever you want to call me, I never think I don't ever go to the game thinking I have all the answers. I'm there to help support maybe some decision making, maybe come up with a solution, maybe come up with some other options, but it's really about walking hand in hand with someone. It's not about always doing the leading. I think being a good listener is vital. I think having them realize that you are coming from a place in your heart when you are talking with them, whether it's about their child, it's about your staff's life, whatever stumbling block they may have along the way, whether they're trying to make decisions about whether to continue on this journey with their education. I think as administrators and, and, and directors, we get hit with a lot of stuff. We're given a lot of information and asked often to help, help me make this decision, help guide me a bit. Sometimes we just have to listen and we don't have to do much talking. Um, in terms of being with children and in this field specifically, when you asked earlier, what do you think makes a, a good professional person in this field of, of early childhood education? I think it's, it goes way beyond just liking children. You have to have a deep appreciation for them. And you have to know what they're like, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and everything in between. And you do have to find joy in it. And you do have to be able to laugh. And if you don't leave at the end of the day without having one funny anecdotal story to tell your family about something crazy that happens at work and you don't truly appreciate it, then you probably should look for a different job. Amen. Good. That good? Amen. Okay. You know what? I, I, I just wanted to just say that 